channel welcome back to wacky wednesday or top five wednesday it <clears throat> today's top five wednesday is all about magic systems yeah you heard right magic systems from someone who doesn't read fantasy so Am I stretching this prompt a little? Perhaps. Uh, this is mostly about the imaginative world, so it's not so much about magic systems like the prompt asked, but more for the imagination and the uh, fantasy land that you go to in these books. Because I don't really think any of these really have an actual magic system. But they do have these very fun fantasy lands that I would like to go to. We're going to start with the two scary ones. Because, you know, why not? And then the other three are just real fun. So the first one is Coraline by Neil, Neil Gaiman. Uh, the world that Coraline goes to is like a mirror image of her world, but make it evil, make it scary. And uh, bun, little bun nice. This one for middle grade is very scary. I really liked this book. So it's like a haunted house mirror image, but nothing's quite right in this world. Then we have Lock and Key. I picked specifically Head Games for this because in Head Games, okay, in Lock and Key, you have all these locks and these keys that go to different places and do different things. This head games is one of my favorites because you can literally unlock your head and see inside of it and you'd see everything that you enjoy doing. So there's like uh, hobbies, there's family, there's work, there's, you know, it's all just up there and it's really, really cool. The other one that I like that is introduced in the first book, but I believe it's in this book too, is um, the ghost key. But basically, your body drops down. You're dead. And then your spirit kind of comes up and your ghost is just flying around and yeah so both of those you know this is a very interesting world i mean it takes place in our world technically but there's some very dark fantasy elements in here then this next one is the only sad one on my list and it is Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. It is yet another like children's fiction fantasy, portal fantasy. So this one follows Jess and Leslie. And they're neighbors and they don't really like each other at first, but they kind of become friends. And Leslie has this imagination like no other. She goes on all these crazy fun adventures in a land known as Terabithia. And uh, Jesse and Leslie. Jess, I'm sorry, his name is not Jesse. It's Jess and Leslie are king and queen of this land. And it's just this really epic story about friendship. And it's so near and dear to my heart. 
And then, uh, The Wishing Game by Meet Schaefer. So, <clears throat> there's two places that I like to go in this story. So, the first place is Clock Island, where, uh, this reclusive author has wrote this entire book series it's like 20 books uh that takes place on clock island and you follow these two kids and it's just this fun adventure and a little magical but then there's the stuff that's happening in the real world real world uh on his estate he owns a lot of property and it's uh, kind of dark and mysterious and then these magical things or unexplainable things start happening on his estate. I would go to both places, honestly. And the last one is one that I read for the first time this year. Uh, it's a classic. Look at me. Classic girl. Uh, this is The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Jester. This is my dream world, a teacher's dream world. I don't know, but it's kind of like a take on Alice in Wonderland, but make it more educational. And it's like, mm, Okay, so Milo visits the Island of Conclusions. You get there by jumping. Learns about time from a ticking watchdog named Hawk and even embarks on a quest to rescue Rhyme and Reason. So, I think I might make copies of this map for my kids. I want to read this with them this year and we can watch like map out his journey I don't know is that lame I don't know I think that would be really cool so at the end of each chapter we'll be like okay he started here he went here bloop 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 and let's discuss our book uh because this one was so like adventurous the adventure is pure but it was funny and it brought like a lot of things that I teach to light in here in like a fun and unique way. And then there's some really cool pictures and I just think that this should be in every classroom. Even though I've never, I mean, like I didn't read about it until this year, but it was a lot of fun. There's like the sea of knowledge. There's conclusions, point of view, illusions, reality, uh, dig dignity, ignorance, uh, foothills of confusion, expectations. And I just think it will be so much fun to read this in the classroom because it's like academic, but it's adventure, it's fun, and it's funny. And as an educator, one of the things that I really want my students to understand is that I want school to be fun for them. I want them to embrace mistakes because I say it all the time in my classroom, if you're not making mistakes, you are not learning. If I don't make a mistake or two as an educator, I'm not learning, I'm not becoming better. And I stride to get my students, mine, all students, but you know, the ones that I meet, uh, to, <laughs> enjoy school because they they come to us you know eager and wanting to learn most of the time and if you teach them in a fun 
way that kids will understand then they will just love it but uh this probably my favorite land yeah this is definitely my favorite land those ones are fun and i enjoy visiting them but i would live in the phantom tool booth like mm, i would i would just love it Milo visits the islands of conclusions. You get there by jumping, you know? And it's just, it's so much fun. It just makes me smile. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>